Welcome back to another What's Sold on eBay video. Brendan here, Dad Planet. If you're new, good to see you for the first time. If you're old, always love having you. So What's Sold on eBay, this is for the week of October 15th through the 21st. A drastic improvement over last week. For those of you that don't know, I just take 10 items that are interesting, very high dollar amount, low cost of goods, from the week of sales that has recently passed, uh, and I feature them on this What's Sold on eBay video, hoping that you guys will find it, hoping that you'll learn something. I go through my thought process on why it makes sense to target this item or this buyer or whatever. Rinse and repeat, that's where we're at. Almost $4,000 for the period of October 15th through the 21st. So up, then down, then back up again, the eBay roller coaster. What can I tell you? Net sales of $2,900. Not too bad, not too bad. Um, how's your October going? Let me know in the comments if things have picked up, if they're slow, uh, anywhere in between. We'll get to the first one, which is a Fisher Price townhouse from 2000. If you guys have been following along with me long enough, you know I love the big like f uh, Fisher Price mansion houses, the ones with lights, the ones with sounds, and they're big items. The reason I I like this one in particular which sold for full price 99 bucks is that the buyer paid an additional 44 dollars to have it shipped so they they're 99 they paid 43.72 in shipping so before tax they're 143.71 all in i only paid four dollars and 99 cents for that but beyond that i'm targeting the buyer that's willing to spend 150 200 dollars 250 dollars there's a lot of buyers here, right, in eBay land that are going to only want to pay $50 for this item, right? But I'm not targeting that buyer. That's why a recurring theme and something I encourage you to try often is raise your prices. Not just raise your prices, but target a different type of buyer, right? Use the correct keywords. Target a different type of buyer. I am uninterested in selling $14.99, $11.99, $12.99 free shipping items to that type of buyer. Now, do I have some of those in my store? Yes, of course I do. Um, but I am trying to weed all of that out in the interest of finding a buyer that more suits my business model, my wants, my needs, theirs as well. So anyway, this bad boy was a uh, the Fisher Price townhouse it was very cute and it came with no accessories. Um, battery compartment clean, tested, working, looking good. And uh, for five bucks, it was a slam dunk. You'll see another one of these in my store. Uh, I have it listed for 99 as well with accessories that I, that I paid $30 for, but it came with some accessories that I've parted out, one of which you will see sold in this video as we get to it. But we'll move on to the next one, which I think is a very unassuming shoe that a lot of people continue to pass up and i found three of these at the same time at a goodwill um, that i paid only three dollars and 99 cents for this is new balance 993 this is a size 12 big size i love that wide even better for me model number mr 993 gl they were in fine condition including the soles a little bit of wear on the tag there but the insoles were clean enough um and yeah i got full price 70 bucks what you're looking for here is uh, New Balance made in the USA, written on the or embroidered on the tag like that. But um, it was interesting. I had a guy who had seen them in my cart, and he like asked me for one. That was always like, it's always so strange when somebody like approaches you or like shops out of your cart when you're in a store. Or like he like asked me if I could have a pair of those shoes. And I'm like, you know, do I give him a pair of the shoes? Like, what do I do here? Like this is like you're taking a spoon out of my child's mouth. Like no, I'm not giving you these shoes. Like I'm running a business. Sorry, buddy, not a charity. But um, but anyway, 70 bucks, uh, 14.90 they paid in shipping, so they're 84, 89 all in. I think I have one more pair left, um, but I, I source a lot of New Balance 900 series shoes because they sell for huge dollar amounts. You find a pair of these brand new, you're gonna get like $200, 250 maybe if you're lucky, but keep your eye out for these very unassuming, like suede top looking New Balance 900 series shoes because they're major bolos. And we'll move on to the next one, which uh, I got at a garage sale. So I went to a garage sale. It was very small. It had a ton of Legos. I was like fifth in line. There was actually a line at this garage sale. It was inside the garage, so you know there wasn't a ton of room. And when you get to a garage sale that has Legos in it and you're late, you can almost guarantee that the people in front of you are looking for the Lego specifically. I knew that would be the case. I also knew that if this household was selling items that were once enjoyed by a kid, it's likely 
that they have older video games that they're no longer currently using. So while everybody else was clamoring over the Legos, I very politely asked the lady if she had any video games that she wanted to sell. She said yes. Went out, pulled out a box of, I think, 22 games, one of which was these. And, uh, you know, I heard a guy saying in the in the background, boy, man, maybe I'm asking the wrong questions here. Um, and that is correct. You are. You have to think, uh, you know, outside the box a little bit when you're going to garage sales. So, And I'm getting better at that. But anyway, this one sold for full price, 50 bucks. $3.99 in shipping. So before tax, they're $43.98 all in. Um, I got 22 games for a total of 30 bucks um, out of that box. And so this one cost me, what, 70 cents, 75 cents. Outlaw, Golf, and Darkened Sky. There are two discs in this uh, game here. So you can see that right there. And they were, uh, they were in excellent condition, both of the discs. So pleased with that sale. Nintendo GameCube games, you know, the, those should most, most often be a no-brainer for you. But um, but uh, I guess the lesson here is like, don't be afraid to ask for things that are not in the garage when you're at a garage sale because you could do this. Next one. Okay, so this is one of the pieces that came out of that uh, that townhouse. And uh, it's a Fisher-Price loving family like hot tub. Now, it's not complete. I, I don't know if when this was sold, I can't remember exactly if it came with a little girl or like maybe a beach towel or there were some other components that didn't come with her. To me, it didn't matter. The thing about this item is that white button right there, it sticks. So I had to unscrew it. I had to kind of take it apart and like lubricate it a little bit so that when you pressed it down, you could hear the bubble noise that the jacuzzi makes or the or the light. You could see the light come on here. Um, I'll put that picture there. See, so the light, the light comes on, the umbrella is detachable. And um, I, did I take a picture? I didn't even take a picture of the battery compartment. I must have just forgot. But anyway, you can clearly see that it uh, that it is in working condition. But I disclosed in my comments, so you got to be it's tricky. That thing will stick, so you have to make sure that you you um, lubricate it a little bit, or you'll have issues with it. But I did that in advance and got it to work fine. I got 25 bucks for it, and they uh, they also paid eight dollars in shipping. So before tax. $32.99. Because it came in that lot of town home, that town home with all of the accessories, I don't really, I don't know how to total this up because I parted that thing out for $99 and then I took this piece out for $24.99. You'll also see the Grand Piano, Fisher Price Loving Family Grand Piano, which is in my um, uh, active listings right now for uh, 50, 40, 30. I don't, I don't remember exactly. So I just, I took those two out and then uh, listed the the townhouse again for $99.99 with some accessories. So this was a cool piece. I, uh, I was pleased to have stumbled upon it because I didn't realize that when I bought the second one off of Marketplace for a total of 30 bucks. But anyway, we'll move on to the next one. Another garage sale find. See, I'm getting better. Um, Crabtree and Evelyn Rosewater. The, um, it's 99.9% full, one ounce. And I was at the garage sale running comps like I always do. Like I, f it's interesting when you, if you're watching other uh, YouTubers, I see a lot of them. They're like they're not, they're not checking their phone. They just kind of like know it when they see it or whatever. I sit there for a long time and calculate everything. Like I don't want to just. There's very few instances where I'll pick up an item and because I know for a fact, like it's a, it's a no-brainer for for resale. Um, I always look things up. So. There I was looking it up, saw that there were um, comparable sales for this uh, for this perfume, and I got full price for it, 50 bucks, uh, and 3.99 in shipping, so 53.98. They are all in before tax, and I paid a whopping three dollars for this um, cologne, glass perfumes. You know, even especially if they're vintage, like there's a huge market for that. So um, keep that in mind. But yeah, just one of those things where I took the time to. Uh, do the research and uh, it paid off. So we'll move on to the next one. So this is a uh, this is an interesting clock. It's like a mid-century kind of starburst, kind of not. Um, but I wanted that keyword in there because it was apparent that um, with the comparable sales, people were using the starburst uh, keyword. So I, I put that in there as well. But it's a well it's a Welby clock, an eight-day clock that was retrofitted. So if you look at this uh, those the screen here. There's a key you can you can remove this clear dome and you can stick a key in there to uh, to wind it and get it to operate. Um, but this had been retrofitted with a quartz battery component, so you can see it was broken out right there. Um, I had to clean the battery compartment out, so it was corroded, um, but it wasn't corroded in my opinion when I was at the store enough to pass the deal up. So I have a feeling that the the store 
noticed that the battery was in, in, in kind of nasty shape and they priced it at four dollars and fifty cents if this hadn't been retrofitted i think i could have gotten double i could have gotten maybe uh, eighty dollars for this clock um, but because it was retrofitted um, i i listed it aggressively at 40 bucks and that's what it sold for so full price they also paid 21.66 to have it shipped so there's 61 dollars and 65 cents all in again i paid 450 this is a definite bolo this warby clock or excuse me warby um, I'm thinking of the, is it the sunglasses or the, or the, the like prescription glasses? Um, but uh, it's a Welby clock and there is a, uh, like a more accurate starburst, like mid-century style to these, uh, this branded clock. So keep your eye out for both of them. Um, but even like the, even the, you know, the paint chipping away, no big deal, right? They paid for it. And that's the, that's the exact buyer we want. Somebody that doesn't care about any defects that you disclose because they want that piece so bad. So we'll move on to the next one. This one was crazy. Um, yeah, Baby Alive 2012. When I was running the comparables, I believe at the time, because this took maybe um, three, three or so months to sell, I believe there were comparables around this price range. Or maybe I just got like super crazy and threw a hundred bucks on it. But it sold for a hundred bucks. It was working. Battery compartment was clean. You can see that. Um, and both languages worked, so she was bilingual, and it sold for a hundred bucks. I mean, I think that the important thing with this particular dial, real surprises, um, is having her pacifier. So I was lucky to have had that in in there as well. But ninety nine bucks, and they paid ten ninety in shipping. So one ten eighty nine all in. Um, I paid three dollars and ninety nine cents for this at Goodwill. Um, if you find the baby alive soft faces, like squeeze them if they're soft, make sure you look those up because those are $100, $200 easily if they're in working condition. Um, cosmetically, if there's issues with it, it still doesn't matter as long as you can still get the sounds and the movements and all that stuff. Keep your eye out for these old school baby lives that are like discontinued or retired because there's a lot of money in that in that market. So um, I was happy with this sale. And uh, yeah, it's the probably the second or the third one I've sold in the last 12 calendar months for over a hundred bucks. So yeah, keep your eye out for it for sure. Move on to the next one. Um, all right, so I sourced this at a Volunteers of America um, that when they see American Girl dolls, they put it behind the counter and they slap a $200 price tag on it. They are egregious with their pricing on what they perceive to be expensive dolls. I think the reason I got away with this is because this was one of the original Pleasant Company American Girl dolls. So it wasn't marked American Girl anywhere on the on the body and they slapped a $3.99 price tag on it and threw it in the, in the mix with all of their other plush. So me knowing what I know about American Girl and Pleasant Company, this was an original from 1986. Her name is Felicity. She was absolutely beautiful. She could stand on her own um, without issue. Her hair was in great shape. Her eye color was beautiful. And uh, yeah, I, I got uh, 107.99 for this one. And then 23.15 to have it shipped, which seems high, but whatever. Um, so they are $131.14 all in. Again, $3.99, and really this was just me kind of getting lucky because they didn't know that Pleasant Company was American Girl. American Girl was Pleasant Company, vice versa. So, um, so yeah, I mean, I got I got a little bit lucky, but her condition was was fabulous, and uh, it took me a while to sell it, but who cares? You know, you, again, list and forget. The right buyer will come along for an item like this for sure, and that is it always happens with me and my listings and how I run my business and build my inventory. So... Keep that in mind, and uh, yeah, American Girl, Slam Dunk, we'll move on to the next one, which also found uh, at a garage sale. So Mizuno Classic Pro, uh, model number GCP17FR. Now, I paid $20 for this. The lady had a $30 price tag on the uh, on the glove, but uh, so when I asked her, I was like, oh my God, you know, I played that whole, oh, and then set it back down. Spent another 15 minutes looking at the garage sale, picked it back up, and then asked her if she would sell it for uh, 20 bucks. So um, we settled in the middle, I think, at 25. What did I write down? I wrote down 20, but I think I paid, tw no, I paid $20 for it. Yeah, yeah, she settled on 20. Um, so it sold for $134.99, uh, $9.90 in shipping. So $144.89 all in. And, uh, you know, on a $20 spend, me playing a, playing a little bit of the game at a garage sale was, uh, you know, I think worked to my advantage. I mean, who knows? Maybe she would have given me a deal anyway. But left-handed Mizuno glove, 
um, before a left-handed thrower, rather, it goes on your right hand. Um, and it's sold in the middle of October. Again, you buy good inventory, it's going to sell. It doesn't matter. Baseball season is you know pretty much over at this point. I think we're at the World Series point of the majors right now, but uh, a, a really good sale. And yeah, we'll move on to the last one, which I got at an estate sale. So I bought a box of old software games. We're talking like straight up floppy disks, if you remember those. Um, the soft floppies. So this one was in a mix of, I think, around 15, 16 games. And it's hard to determine what I paid because I spent a total of $120 at this estate sale. But I had like an old VCR that sold for uh, $120 and I had a bunch of other stuff. So I don't know. I'm like a dollar into this, pennies. I don't really know. Mech Warrior Activision for IBM. And again, these will turn up at thrift stores. They'll, they'll turn up and they'll be priced at $0.99 cents, and they'll sit right? Because nobody wants to do the homework on it. But you, you have to scan those games when you see them, no matter how old they are, uh, because there's a lot of money in certain uh, areas, especially the um, uh, flight simulator games. Like anytime you see a flight simulator game, make sure you look it up in the store, regardless of how old it is, because you're going to make you're gonna make good money on it. Anyway, this was a, a nice surprise. I got $109 for it and 99 cents. They paid $3.99 in shipping. So $113.98 all in. I have no idea what I paid, but I don't really care because it was a huge sale, and that made my day, that made my week, four thousand dollars, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. I don't have anything else for you. If you are subs, if you are not subscribed, make sure you are subscribed. Hit that bell notification icon. If you like the video, send me a like. Comments. How are we doing? We're almost, uh, we're almost into Halloween, and then we're gonna get into November. It's gonna start ramping up slowly but surely. So, how are things going? Let me know how life is. I uh, I need a break. I did two hours of homework yesterday with a uh, with a ten year old. So like I'm beat, but that's why we do what we do. It's dad first, business second. Dad Planet Brendan here. I'm out. Peace. We'll see you in the next video.